welcome. This is a short video with some simple pranayama practices uh, to help to strengthen your lungs, to enhance your relationship to your lungs and your diaphragm, and to also just bring a little bit of ease and balance to your nervous system. So I'm gonna share two practices. The first is Kapalabhati. So this is a yogic kriya, um, and it's not really to be done if you're on your period or you're pregnant. Um, otherwise, play and, and see what you think, see how it feels, it's pretty fun. And then Nadi Shodhana is a calming, soothing, balancing practice, alternate nostril breathing, so you can always skip forward to that one if that's where you're at today. So Kapalabhati is a relatively, it's an active exhale. I don't like to say forceful or powerful. It's more of an active exhale. So we bounce the breath off the diaphragm. So the diaphragm, this spongy, strong muscle, this membrane that spreads and opens and domes on inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And with Kapalabhati, we're taking a big inhale to begin, and then this is me uh, embodying my diaphragm. So <laughs> this is the gesture of the diaphragm, gently bouncing the breath out. The inhale is just passive. There's no control of your inhale. Just allow your inhale to come in naturally. So I take a breath to begin, and then it's just the inhale comes, and I use the diaphragm, expel the air. It's not a great word, is it, expel, but to support the exhale and to move the exhale out. So you can use this gesture of the diaphragm to support. Inhale, it spreads. Exhale. And you'll also see that my belly is moving. So my abdomen is also supporting that upwards movement of the diaphragm. So we'll do three rounds of 20, okay? You can bring your hand to your belly if that helps. And it takes a while to kind of understand the inhale. So don't worry, if you find you're going and you're controlling the inhale, just try and bring more ease there. Let the breath come on its own. And then close your eyes and just notice the effect of the practice on your system. It's a, quite an enlivening practice. And if you feel lightheaded and like it's too much, bring your awareness to your pelvis and the bones of your legs and just give more of your weight to the ground. And that might be enough for you. We'll do two more rounds and actually let's do 15 because I was feeling that was pretty activating for me. So <laughs> we'll do two more rounds, 15 each time. And then listening, receiving, releasing any tension. And perhaps noticing some clarity of mind. Ah, we'll do one more round. Inhaling and exhaling through your nostrils. Active exhale, passive inhale.
you might find that there isn't much of a desire to inhale after the practice. Lots of oxygen in your system and lots of carbon dioxide now pumped out of your system. And just notice what you notice. Soften your belly, soften your jaw. And just notice what's happening inside your body and your mind. I'm noticing some sensation in my belly. It feels like it's done a little workout. I'm noticing both a energizing experience and a grounding. And there's more clarity. Yeah, more clarity of mind. And more connection to spaciousness. And so let's ground all of that with Nadi Shuddhana alternate nostril breathing. So bring your right thumb to your right nostril and you're going to press your thumb gently into your nostril to close off that side. So we're clearing the channels the energy channels, Ida and Pingala, balancing your system. And this is just really cooling and calming for your nervous system. So you'll inhale through your left nostril, just as far as feels comfortable. Close the left nostril and hold the breath. And then exhale out of your right. Inhale through your right. Close and hold as long as is comfortable, a few moments, and then exhale out of your left and empty all the way out without any strain or stress. And inhale through your left. A gentle, generous breath. Hold for a few moments as you close off both nostrils. And then exhale out of your right. Empty. Before you inhale and fill up. Pause and hold. Exhale through your left and empty. Inhale through your right, uh, left, sorry, all the way to the top. Close and hold. Exhale through your right. Inhale through your right. Close and hold. Exhale through your left. And keep going in your own time, at your own pace. So you'll inhale through your left nostril, taking all the breath you need before you close and hold. And when you feel ready, you'll exhale through your right. You'll inhale through the same nostril. Close and hold. And then through the left, exhale. Take another round on your own.
And the next time you exhale through your left, just release the practice. And notice the effects that this practice has on your system and perhaps how it compares or contrasts to the previous practice, if you chose to do that. Release any tension in your belly and in your jaw and in your shoulders. Give more of your weight into the ground. And soften your pelvic floor. And as you breathe, you might sense the spreading and doming of the pelvic diaphragm. As you inhale, there's a gentle expansion in the base of your pelvis. And as you exhale, there's a gentle doming up. You might sense that there's a harmony of movement on the inside as your system breathes you, as your body, your intelligent, beautiful body breathes you. You can stay there resting, listening as long as you need. 